Not all pizzas are made equally, and a closer look at pizza chains reveals the way they make their pizza doesn't always hold up to scrutiny. After all, these are chain restaurants we're talking about. These are just some of the ways pizza chains try to scam you. For many, the gooey melted cheese is the best part of a pizza. Without cheese, what is pizza but a lowly flatbread? Sure, some classic Roman pies come sans cheese, but if you're ordering a hot pie from a major chain in the US, that stretchy mozzarella is what we've come to expect. So finding out that sometimes that cheese isn't real cheese feels like nothing short of betrayal. But some chains use cheese products that aren't 100% authentic, probably because cheese is expensive. It accounts for almost 40% of the total cost of making a pizza. In the US, many major chains are using cheese with added preservatives, and maybe even sprayed on colors and flavors. When officers from a trading standards department in the UK tested fast food pizzas for authenticity, they discovered that 19 out of 20 pizza samples were made with something called analog cheese, an imitation cheese that's cheaper and easier to produce than the real thing. A different test found that one in four pizzas was made with a non-dairy product made mostly of fat and oil that was made to look and taste like cheese but wasn't the real deal. <sighs> a lovely cheese pizza just for me. There's almost no pizza shop image more iconic than that of a chef slapping a ball of dough on the counter before shaping it into a large circle and tossing it up in the air until it reaches the perfect width. But in today's pizza chains, most of the dough comes frozen and isn't mixed in-house. At Pizza Hut, one worker revealed that not only does the dough come frozen, but sometimes they actually pre-assemble the pizza with the ingredients too. They're sent a frozen disc of dough, which is put into pans where it's sprayed with oil, then left to defrost and rise. Once the dough is ready, sauce, cheese, and toppings are added. And then the pre-assembled pies are kept in the refrigerator until they're ready to be cooked. Another Pizza Hut employee said they use pre-made dough and assemble the pizza when the order is placed, after which the pizza is fed through a conveyor belt oven. Not exactly the classic image of a chef in a white hat tossing a large wobbly circle of dough into the air under the watchful eyes of hungry and impressed customers. If you've ever traveled to a big city, you may have noticed that everything from rent to utilities to groceries is more expensive. The same can be said for the price of pizza. Sad news for the traveler on a budget. But how much more could you end up paying? One study in the UK showed that pizza from Pizza Hut, Domino's, Papa John's, and the UK chain Pizza Express cost up to about five US dollars more in London than in smaller surrounding towns. Why is it so expensive here? Look at this place, it's a sh hole. A Domino's spokesperson explained the price discrepancy by saying, our franchisees determine local prices, so there can be some difference due to the other regional variations, such as wage levels, rental costs, gas prices, and in London, the living wage. The same is true for pizza in the US, with many people in larger cities facing higher prices for their pies. The one exception? The famous New York City dollar slice. But even those dollar slice joints are on the decline, as prices of ingredients and labor rise too. Have you ever wondered why pizza places sell cheesy breadsticks, which are just a form of pizza? Much like donut holes, breadsticks and garlic knots at pizza chains are likely just an excuse to make a profit of what is, essentially, leftover scraps. The good news is that it's pretty easy to make your own breadsticks from store-bought pizza dough at home. The bad news is that the breadsticks you get at the restaurant might not be top quality. One employee of Little Caesars cautioned against ordering the breadsticks there, saying that literally tons of day-old butter are painted onto the bread. I've seen coworkers pick up breadsticks off the ground and put them back in the bag just because they are in a rush. Another employee agreed, telling customers not to order crazy bread, jalapeno bread, or Italian bread, what Little Caesars calls their breadsticks, because the oil slicked on them is not butter. It's some nasty imitation that comes in a huge bottle and does not need to be refrigerated. Dipping sauces have become a staple of pizza chain restaurants. It's an easy way for them to get extra money out of each order, and it can also help mask the dryness of their pizza crust and breadsticks. Papa John's was the first pizza restaurant to start selling a dipping sauce specifically meant to accompany their pizza. Their buttery garlic sauce is included with every pizza, but upon closer look, it turns out that this dipping sauce isn't what it seems at first glance. Not only does the sauce not contain butter, it doesn't contain any milk at all. The primary ingredient in the dipping sauce is soybean oil. And while it does contain real garlic, it's the fifth ingredient, coming in right after vegetable mono and deglycerides, which apparently maintains sauce consistency. Domino's garlic butter sauce isn't exactly made from butter, but it does include, quote, butter-flavored oil, made with lipolized butter oil. Yum! If you're the type of person who tries to steer clear of artificial ingredients and strange oil products, then you'd better check the ingredients before ordering a dipping sauce with your next pizza. If you've ever ordered a Domino's pizza, the only thing more exciting than the actual arrival of your pizza is watching the progress bar of the Domino's Pizza Tracker to see when your pizza was being prepared, cooked, and sent on its merry way to your door. But if you've ever thought the whole pizza tracker system seemed a little suspect, you're not alone. One man was so curious about the accuracy of the tracker 
that he ordered a pie and then staked out his local Domino's to see the actual progress of his pizza in real time. He noticed when the tracker said the pizza was being prepared, it was nowhere to be seen. And when the tracker was updated to say his order was in the oven, it hadn't even been assembled yet. Why the discrepancy? One writer discovered that there isn't any way for the Domino's workers to communicate with the pizza tracker to note things like when the pizza has been taken out of the oven and that the tracker was actually just on a timer. Also, the delivery takes way longer than expected. Pizza? Pizza? Yeah, Grandma. Pizza. Looks like the next time you're waiting for your pizza to be delivered, you're better off watching TV instead of keeping your eyes glued to a pizza tracker. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.